Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this Galaxy Ganache Marbled Cake. To start, I have my dark chocolate ganache. The recipe on how to make ganache will be in the description box below. This will be for the milk, the dark, and the white chocolate, which I've made for this uh, video. Stir it through, make sure you heat it in the microwave for about 40 seconds, and then stir it through till completely melted. Here I have some hybrid vanilla buttercream. The recipe for my hybrid vanilla buttercream is actually in the description box below this video. Attach a cake board same size as your cake to a large cake board. Here I've used a clear acrylic disc. Pop it into your freezer, that way it sets it onto the board and doesn't move around while we build our cake. Apply a cake on top of some buttercream and then fill in with the same buttercream. Pop on your layers. I used two 6 inch cakes here, both of them cut in half so we have four layers of cake in total. Make sure all the uh, layers are centered and then pop on a crumb coat. This is a thin layer of frosting that goes around the cake to trap in crumbs. And you don't really need it to be too, too neat or crumb free because we are going to be pouring the ganache completely over it and you won't be able to see through to the white. Go over with a bench scraper to make sure the sides are nice and straight. Clear up the top a lip of frosting and then pop it into the fridge for 20 minutes or into your freezer for 10 minutes until it sets. You can put the ganache directly over a crumb coat. I'm actually going to put a thicker layer of frosting on top. Uh, this is going to be so that I can use a frosting comb with it. You can go around, make it nice and smooth and leave it at that. If you don't want to use a frosting comb, that looks perfect as is, just nice and flat. But I've got in with a mini uh, scalloped edge comb here. Go around until that pattern indents really nicely and neatly on the side of your cake. And then bring back that lip of frosting as usual. This is very important. Pop your cake into your fridge and let it set completely. Uh, I pop mine into the freezer for about 20 minutes as well, only because the ganache is going to be warm when it's going into uh, onto the cake. Here I've added glucose syrup. Very important to get a nice glossy finish on your cake. It blends well with chocolate too, um, and then I'm going to combine them all in a jug. You might have noticed in the milk chocolate just before I did add a little bit of white gel food coloring. That's so it can separate a lot easier from the dark um, ganache, so the colors can separate a bit better. Once you've combined all of your colors, let the magic happen and pour it over your cake. I start in the center and then I move to the sides. If there are sections that don't look like they're getting um, covered by the ganache, just pour it directly over there instead and it'll drip all the way down to cover your cake completely. All the colors did come through. If you don't want so much uh, marbling or so many colorful waves happening, don't add as much chocolate. So maybe, for example, you'll add white chocolate into the dark chocolate instead and completely omit the milk chocolate. Or you might only add one ring and make it very small. Clear up the very bottom once your ganache has set. Mine took about half an hour at room temperature. And then pick it up and pop it onto a cake board. And I use a little teacup to make sure that I could drip it all the way down and there was a space between my cake and um, that container to catch all the chocolate. With a small star piping tip, I believe this is number 32, I've popped some buttercream inside and making some shells at the very bottom. For a finishing touch I had some white uh, candy mouths or even just white chocolates and I popped it into a ziplock bag and crushed them to oblivion until I had these little um, shards of chocolate. An important note, don't add these onto your cake until your ganache has set completely. If it hasn't set, it'll continue to drip and it'll drag those down the side of your cake. As a finishing touch, just adding some little dolloped stars and you're done. We make a chocolate galaxy ganache cake. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm coming to you today after a seven week long holiday. So I look more tanned. The right answer is yes. Really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today uh, with the ganache. Very different. Uh, great alternative to the mirror glaze only because obviously it's a lot easier to make and a lot tastier as well. If you don't want as much marbling in your ganache as I have here, just don't add as much of different colors. So notice how I add three different chocolates, just add two instead. I did about six rings, so two um, of each type of chocolate in that 
um, jug. If you don't want it to be too marbled, only add maybe one or two rings. So it can be done in a much less uh, marbled sort of a look. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you again on Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We upload a new video every week.